Hi everyone, welcome to uh, the Carrier and Daily Comets Prep Preview Show Week 2. I'm Chris Singleton, sports writer with, here at the Homer Carrier and the Thibodeau Daily Comet. I'm joined next by Brent St. Germain, who's a sports editor. And Brent, you have a really big game coming up in Thibodeau this week with Thibodeau and Destrehan, two of the top teams in Class 5A. We're starting off right off the bat, I mean, probably one of the top teams in the state this week, you have to say. Destrehan, two-time defending state champs, riding a 30-game winning streak into this game. Thibodeau last year turned it around, had the one, you know, last season, won the district, went undefeated in the regular season. And they have one of the best players in the state, if not one of the best players in the country, in Trevon Reed. And last week, Trevon Reed showed how good of a player he is, guiding Thibodeau down to the end, got that game-winning touchdown pass in the final seconds. I mean, he showed why he's the best player in the state. Destrehan, they're not the same Destrehan team that they were that won two straight state titles, but they're still no pushover. They're a great team. They beat Helen Cox last week, so they got a lot of talent on both sides of the ball. Um, it's going to be an exciting game because Destrehan, they were strong on defense in their state championship teams. They only got one returning starter, but offensively they got a lot of weapons on for Destrehan. I mean, you've got... Marshall Charles and Harry Lennox, I mean, those two great guys. Then you have Kyan King, the top receiver who's been a go-to player. And Thibodeau, they're more than just Trevon Reed. I mean, you got Brandon Duncan, you got a lot of guys on defense. This is a, they're a real quality team. And this game, you know, it could be like last week, go down the right to the wire for Thibodeau. I know the coaches and fans of Thibodeau like to see maybe if they win this game to not go to the end, but you know, the way it looks, it could, it's shaping up to be a great game. And how would a great would it be if you're the team that ends a 30 game winning streak by a two time defending state chance? It's gotta be a big boost for your program and a big boost for the rest of the season. And I know you have a good matchup with two, two local teams coming up this week. Got South Terrebonne and Ellender, two teams who go back a long time with each other, two teams who are very, very long time rivals. The players, they grew up with each other. Both of these two teams, obviously, they're coming off of very tough losses in week one. The biggest issue for South Terrebonne this week is going to be health. I talked to Coach Richard Curlin today. He said at least half of the team probably is going to be out, you know, with the flu bugs going around. So, uh, you know, South Terrebonne might have to play a couple of players both ways. Uh, you know, it should be interesting to see if the Gators can respond to that. And they also gave up a lot of rushing yards uh, as well, you know, uh, to Como. It should be interesting to see if South Terrebonne can step up and stop the run because you know Ellender loves to run the ball with Glenn Fitch and they have a good, good rushing attack under Coach Tawaski Anderson. Uh, for Ellender, the big key will be if they can get their offense going. You know, last week, you know, they were just held to uh, 15 yards rushing and against Terrebonne, you know, really nothing went good for Ellender. Right. So, you know, it should be interesting to see if Ellender can come out, get the offense going. They have a good quarterback in Justin Billot, who uh, passed for over 200 yards last week, and receiver Jermaine Johnson, who caught almost nine passes for 214 yards last week. So, Ellender has the weapons on offense, but it should be interesting to see if they can actually take advantage of it. You know, it's been a while since Ellender beat South Terrebonne. Matter of fact, you got to go back 14, 15 years since Ellender has beaten their longtime rivals. So, you know, the Patriots are going to be up for this game, try to knock off their. Uh, rivals. Uh, other games we have in the area, we have a you know, full slate of games Friday night. Terrebonne is traveling all the way to, to play Lafayette. And the thing about Terrebonne, like I said, is their offense. They had 554 yards total offense, 420 yards rushing on the ground last week. That's some impressive numbers on one, any level you're on. I mean, they got so many weapons. And if Terrebonne can keep that offense rolling like that this week, I mean, they, they got a shot they can win this game. And who knows what could happen after that. Maybe they can go into that game in a few weeks in Thibodeau. It could be a battle between th two undefeated teams in district play. Every week, you know, who knows what can happen. And, uh, you know, Terrebonne is going to have a good challenge over there on Lafayette. But when you look at the small schools in the area, you know, another big key matchup this week is going to be Edie White and Assumption. Now, these two teams know each other very well. Just two weeks ago, they played in the Jamboree at Nickel State University at uh, John L. Gidry Stadium. Edie White got out to a quick start in that game, but Assumption came back and, and were able to win it. 14 and 10, so you know E.D. Rice going to want to come out and right. get a little revenge. Assumption used that momentum from that Jamboree win and was able to go on the road and beat a good live, live O team. Coach Sean Preston has those guys believing, you know, hungry, wanting to go out there and get a win. From the sounds of it, Chris, I think we've got another exciting week of high school football ahead. A lot of good games, a lot of uh, great players you can go out and see. And it should just be a great atmosphere for high school football throughout the area, and we're looking forward to it. That's it for another week of prep previews. Uh, catch us next week. We'll have more exciting uh, previews for the upcoming season and wish all the teams good luck for the upcoming week.